NAC itself uh, is a, you know, really as we uh, showed earlier, is a direct, uh, a direct correlation to how you can solve your cybersecurity, your core cybersecurity requirements. So that becomes an easy decision to make, but then how you actually implement NAC is almost more important than the fact that you do implement it. So 90% or almost 100% of your NAC integrations are typically going to fall under one of these categories. I really don't talk about uh, agent base because this is more of a network architecture matrix here. But this gives you an idea of, um, depending on which architecture you choose, what kind of challenges you may or may not be facing with each architecture. So they all have their pros and cons. However, you can see from at the very left side of the matrix is really the more uh, complex type of architecture and to the right is the easiest kind of architecture. So the fact that you actually have um, this comparison allows you to take these considerations um, into account when you're making a decision. So the answer is that you can quickly and easily install network access control, um, but it can also be very complex based on what architecture you choose. Genie and NAC supports all of these architecture models, um, but we talk mainly about the sensor approach because we believe that is really the key to a next-gen NAC solution and solves so many of the problems documented here.